They are just like beautiful. I'm sure you can see where this is going. I don't know how I get this look. I literally cannot believe that I found this at the thrift store. Hello everyone. So I have not gone thrifting in probably over a month, but I was looking back and realizing that I had about four thrift trips where I bought stuff and just never shared them on here. So even though I haven't gone thrifting in over a month, we're in luck. We got a thrift haul today and there's really, really, really good stuff. I honestly can't believe I haven't shared this stuff. I'm gonna start with the most recent trip and make my way back if I can kind of remember where I got everything. So this was the last thrift trip I took. This was, actually I have the receipt right here. I can see when I took, when I went. 318. Okay, so it hasn't been quite a month cause it's now, what's the date today? What's the date today? Today is Saturday, April 13th. So it wasn't quite a month. The only thing I found was this cute little gold frame. I got this for $5. It's, it's slightly higher quality than most gold frames I find at the thrift store. It's just really cute. It has like the really pretty details, but it's small and still pretty simple, but slightly ornate, which I thought was really cool and could be incorporated into any gallery wall, really. This collective thrift haul, some of them are from my local thrift store and some are from another Goodwill and St. Benny's that I went to in another town nearby. So this one was from my local thrift store. So the next time we went to the thrift store it was another trip to my local thrift store and I ended up finding this pillow for $2. Um, at first I bought it because I'm like, well, I do like the way it looks as a pillow, but the more I thought about it, the more I want to thrift flip this into maybe like a purse. You can like take all the stuffing out and just use the fabric for that. And I really like the colors and the patterns on this. And I, after I purchased this, I started pinning, actually Pinterest started showing me, of course, started showing me bags like this. If my sewing skills are up to par at some point, this will become this maybe. You're gonna have to stay tuned for that. My sewing skills. I just haven't had like the time or energy to actually like sit down and just figure it out. But that will happen eventually. The same trip, it's very early right now. The same thrift, not thrift flip, the, th the same thrift trip. I ended up finding these crystal wine glasses. They're very substantial, super heavy. They're so pretty. If anyone's been watching any of my prior thrift hauls, you know that I was on like a barware kick lately because I needed to stock this little bar. And honestly, I think it's pretty good now. I don't remember how much these cost. These were probably like less than $3 each, but I could be very wrong. I'll show you something else that I got in another thrift trip that's very similar to these. I think they're actually probably from the same set now that I'm looking at them, but that's that. I'm gonna put these back so they don't break. Excuse me, Ash. That same The same trip to the thrift store that I got those crystal wine glasses, I also got some other cocktail things. This actually came as a set. I think this was maybe like two to five dollars. I don't remember exactly. I don't know how I get this lucky sometimes. I'm literally like, oh, I need to stock this bar and I want all this stuff to stock this bar. And then I walk into the thrift store and I find this, like, how much luckier could I be? So this is like all the little tools. I have no idea what any of these things would be used for. I don't know. I don't know. Just for display. Same with this little cocktail book. Like it has all these little cocktail recipes. I just had this on top of my bar. So you might've seen it in the background of some videos, but I just have never actually shared it in a thrift haul yet. I was getting my hair cut in a different town and they have like several thrift stores. So I was like, well, maybe I'll just go a little early and check out some of the thrift stores in the area. And I'm glad I did because I got very, very, very lucky. So I'm gonna start with these. These I got at Goodwill. They're this beautiful floral patterned plate. And they even have like the scalloped detail on the edge. So pretty. They are so, so beautiful. Like I saw them and was just like, you can't be serious. Like these are here right now. I can't remember how much these were. I want to say probably less than $5 for both of them. So pretty. I don't remember exactly which things I got where. I believe this, and it doesn't really matter. I'll just group them together now. This little juicer I thought was so cute. It's very heavy. It's glass. It's got all this texture. It's more just like a rib texture rather than like a crystal -y texture, which I thought was cool and simple enough yet still detailed enough. I thought that was really pretty. This was probably like 
two to three dollars if I had to guess. Next thing, you recognize this little jar. Maybe you've seen candles like this as well. I was in a store and they were selling candles in these jars and I was this close to buying one, but like they were quite expensive and I'm like, I already have like some expensive candles, candles that I've made. I have plenty of candles. It wasn't like that crazy about the smell anyway. So I'm like, I'm gonna say no, I'm gonna put it back. And then within the month, I found the empty jar for it at the thrift store. Again, how am I getting this lucky for things? I don't know. Sometimes things just fall into your lap and it's absolutely amazing. But yeah, so it's just like this cute little canister now. I love the details of the jar. And yeah, now it's just like a little canister and you can put things inside and I love it. It's so cute. And I saved money, didn't have to go through a candle I didn't want to. It was already cleaned out for me. Thank you, whoever did that. I literally can't believe I found this at the thrift store. Like I shared those wine glasses before, I found these. These must have been the first ones I found because I know I went to this this thrift trip first. I cannot say trip, I cannot say thrift trip to save my life right now. I know it's the same set because it has like the same detail right here. It's the exact same like shape everywhere. The only difference is that this is like a champagne flute and those are wine glasses. Okay, sad news. I did buy three of these. I bought some champagne for my fiance for New Year's Eve. He was like, okay, well you can have just like a tiny little sip if you want. He's like, I don't like alcohol at all. And he's like, okay, well I'll just give you like literally a splash. And so I took a tiny little splash in this glass cause I wanted to drink out of this, which I should have just drank something else out of it. Drinking my little champagne. And then of course I hated it. I hated every second of it. No, no, no. I put these in the sink like a dummy. I'm sure you can see where this is going. I'm like, I'm gonna turn on the garbage disposal, not thinking that it's gonna start shaking the entire sink and that these are gonna start going like, tch, tch, tch. and of course they did. Boom, fell in the stem. I didn't even want to drink it anyway, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I was like, it wasn't even worth it. But you know what? I'm gonna be more careful with these now. Now I learned my lesson to never put these in the sink. I'll just wash them right away or leave them on the counter until I'm ready to wash them. Putting these away so they don't break. And then at this exact same thrift store, I found three of these clear mugs and I was instantly drawn to them because I just love like clear mugs for some reason. And these are so different than the ones that I already have. The ones that I have are much thinner glass. I was like, okay, I need these, I need these. And then I realized that they're from Ikea, but I feel like they might be like vintage because I've never seen these before. But let me know if you've seen these at Ikea, do they still sell these sort of mugs? I just love that they're just like this clear glass. Like, I don't know, why is that so cool to me? Why am I so drawn to glasses like this? Somehow seem like futuristic to me, yet retro at the same time. Like those movies that, are futuristic yet they have like a retro vibe to them. That's what I'm talking about. Like the movie Her, where I, I feel like they would drink out of these glasses in that movie. What movie did I see where they actually had glasses like this? And I was like, what was it? It was an old movie that was made in the future, but kind of like retro vibes. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure these were like 99 cents each, maybe $2 each. Either way, I'm so glad I got these. I I think this was actually from another thrift trip where I went to my local thrift store and only got a couple items. And so I got this little frame. I don't like the picture inside. I just like the frame. It's like a simple wooden frame with a little bit of detail on it, which I thought was really pretty. This was $2.99. So eventually I'll take out whatever this is and put something nicer in there. We'll go with any gallery wall, like I mentioned with the other frame, and they actually look cute together. And then also I found this candle for $1.99. I just thought it was different. I liked the color, it's like a beeswax color, but then it isn't just a square candle, it has like these corners flattened out, which I thought was really interesting and cool. And then last but not least, I literally cannot believe that I found this at the thrift store, and I don't even care if it's fake, but I found this. And I cannot believe that I didn't share this with you. Like, I don't even think I shared this on Instagram. I think I shared this on TikTok. I posted pictures with it, but no, no one's ever asked. <laughs> I found this at my local thrift store at St. Vinny's. And I was like, oh my God, it's a Prada bag. I would never be someone who could be like, oh, this is real, this is fake. I just don't have that eye. I saw it and I'm like, okay, it looks, nice quality like i can't tell if it's real but it seems like high quality and it was 15 dollars. so i'm like okay 
I'm gonna get it because it's cute. It looks like a Prada bag. It says Prada on it. And so I came home and like did a little bit of research and I was like starting to con be convinced. I'm like, this might be real. Things to look for is like if the Prada logo is off, if there's something spelled wrong on it, obviously. If it, you know, has this or that or this or that. I'm like, okay, check, that looks good, right? And then I was like reading the other things that they're like, okay, check for this, check for that. And they were like, if the lining is Prada lining, it's real. If it's not, it's fake. And if it was made in Milan, then it's real. If it was made somewhere else, then it's fake. The lining is plain black, so that's a hint that it's fake. And then I found the tag that said, made in China. And I'm like, yeah, probably fake. I think it's fake. It's busy, baby. I don't care if I'm carrying around a fake Prada bag. Try Prada bag, totally fake. It's adorable. It looks so cute with like most outfits I wear. My only complaint is that it's just a smidge too small. I do like a slightly larger bag. However, because it's so cute, I will let it slide and I carry it with me almost everywhere. I'm really glad that I finally got to share with you all of these thrift items that I accidentally was keeping from you. I really didn't mean to, I promise. Please let me know what your favorite item was. Let me know in the comments down below and make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, all that other stuff. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.